Designers of electric motorcycles are usually criticized for making models that are too futuristic for ordinary riders who just want traditional-looking bikes with zero-emissions powertrains. Today, we're looking at companies that refuse to cater to the needs of the average consumer and insist on developing e-bikes worthy of sci-fi movie scenes. Let's get started! Real Motors Ares We live in a world where the linear acceleration of EVs and loads of instant wheel torque are no longer a surprise, but rather treated as a common thing. With this in mind, many manufacturers are trying to wow the crowd with digital innovations and attention-grabbing designs. The US-based company called Real Motors seems to be using this approach. They've recently unveiled a prototype that puts together the most futuristic tech and an exterior look influenced by cafe racers of the 1960s. When developing this prototype, the company's designers and engineers tried to use modern tech and materials to replicate the geometry, texture, and authentic feeling of analog bikes of the past. The model received gorgeous glossy body paint with black decals, an orange streak, a red horizontal lighting stripe at the rear, a skateboard seat, and dropped handlebars characteristic of cafe racer style. Although the Ares by Real Motors is still at the prototyping stage and full specifications are to be available closer to the launch date sometime in 2025, the manufacturer has already revealed some of the specifications that they're trying to achieve. This 420-pound machine will sprint to 60 miles per hour in under 4 seconds while retaining the range of 100 miles. With such a limited range, the support of L2 charging is a must, so when this charging option is used, you'll be able to bring the charge from 10% to 80% in under 30 minutes. Untitled Motorcycles XP0 Based on the Zero SRF Street Fighter and developed in cooperation with company specialists, this custom bike from Untitled Motorcycles blends EV performance with experimental aircraft aesthetics and rally car aerodynamics. The XP loses all bodywork except for the strictly required parts and gets new polymer panels developed with CNC technology and 6061 aerospace aluminum components. It also sits on a modified tubular steel frame with Showa suspension and 17-inch wheels wrapped in Pirelli Diablo Superbike tires. Finally, there are custom LED lights and the Cyber 3 color TFT display. Just like the stock bike, the XP tops out at 82 kilowatts, 124 miles per hour, and 187 miles of riding. How do you like these bikes so far? Do you think that such futuristic designs and technologies will grow on us eventually? And we'll see more sci-fi style motorcycles on the road soon. Voice your thoughts below and we'll keep going. Verge Motorcycles TS Ultra the flagship performer of the Verge motorcycle lineup promises riders more power, torque, and speed. The model keeps the usual rear rim-integrated motor, but boosts it to 204 horsepower and 885 pound-feet of torque. These numbers translate into 2.5 seconds 0 to 60 and a crazy top speed of 124 miles per hour. The Ultra gets a full-body battery pack with 20 kilowatt-hour capacity, 233 miles of riding, and fast charging that takes a mere 25 minutes. Plus, standard tech features on the Verge TS Ultra include ABS, traction control, and a pair of digital displays, one between the handlebars and one on the tank. The latter is equipped with StarMatter Vision tech that promises 360-degree sensing, courtesy of six cameras aided by two radars. x Unit 00 Destined to be one of the flashiest rides on any road, the new x Unit 00 is a cyberpunk-inspired electric motorcycle with performance capabilities comparable to the 125cc class. 
The motorbike comes with a rear, single-sided swing arm and a 17-inch rear hub motor with 5 kilowatts of nominal output. Thanks to the 12 kilowatt peak output parameter, you can expect to ride at speeds of up to 75 miles per hour. The motor is juiced by a three-piece battery pack with 10.8 kilowatt hours of combined capacity. Every module is removable for your charging convenience and requires 3.5 hours to restore its full capacity from a 1.8 kilowatt charger. The bike's powertrain has three power modes from the factory, and you can switch between them with the help of a smartphone app or the TFT control display. The manufacturer estimates that the riding autonomy can reach 110 miles in the least demanding power mode. Besides controlling the power output, the smartphone app also has a navigation feature and controls for the exterior lighting. Arc Vector The Coventry-based Arc motorcycles had a couple of financial close calls during the pandemic years, but they soldiered on through the rough and are finally bringing their first model to the market. The Vector debuts in the Founder's Signature Edition that will be exclusive to the U.S. market. These two units will get rose gold paint details, intricate etched leather grips, black and copper stitching, and a unique chimney plate. The carbon monocoque of the Arc Vector houses a 399-volt permanent magnet motor, and a 16.8 kilowatt hour battery that serves as a stressed element of the chassis. Presumably, this capacity covers 271 miles and juice the motor with 115 horsepower and 128 pound feet of torque. Despite weighing 529 pounds, the bike can sprint to 60 in 3.1 seconds and reaches the top speed of 125 miles per hour. The unique look of this British creation comes from a dramatic hub center steering arrangement and high-performance swing arms Olin's TTX suspension at both ends. Lastly, to ensure optimal traction on the road, the carbon BST wheels are paired with Pirelli Diablo Rosso 4 Corsa tires. If you're a regular viewer of our EV News Roundups, then you should be familiar with the Italian Volt Company. They've been developing boutique motorcycles with battery electric powertrains since 2016. However, a series of unfortunate events delayed this process for many years. Luckily, after a change of ownership, Italian Volt is back on track and finally ready to start the production of the much-awaited La Cama motorcycle in Italy. The bike is offered in two variations the one-seater Cafe Racer or the two-seater Street Fighter. Both variations are based on a single-piece aluminum frame that connects together with the aluminum swing arm, a multi-adjustable Olin's monoshock absorber, and a 43mm Olin's fork. The bikes are rolling on 17-inch rims with Brembo disc brakes and Pirelli Diablo Rosso 3 tires. The bike's electrified heart is represented by a PMSM axial flow motor with 111 kilowatts of peak output and 570 pound-feet of wheel torque. The powertrain is built on a 400-volt architecture that brings the CCS2 fast charging capabilities. The power output is sent to the rear wheel via a carbon belt, thus letting the 434-pound machine sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds and continue onwards to the limited top speed of 142 miles per hour. The range estimations are said to be close to 160 miles in the urban riding cycle. The list of other noteworthy components and features includes a full-color 5-inch TFT display, a smartphone control app, lean-sensitive ABS and traction control system, keyless entry with an electric steering lock, and a bike customization service that lets you choose between 22 paint colors and seat trims. BIMOS Electric Vehicles BIMOS Electric Vehicles is a young company from France with an unusual vision of the EV industry. Instead of using modern tech to develop new futuristic types of transport, they're putting their engineering knowledge into reviving classic motorcycles of the past. 
this company has already developed a complete kit for converting old BMW motorcycles from gas to electric. Suitable for use with models ranging from the R45 to the R100, the electric kit maintains the excitement of changing gears and provides similar performance specifications. The company installs an 11 kilowatt electric motor and a clutch adapter that works with the original gearbox. As a result, you get a powertrain that puts out 30 kilowatts at 7500 RPM. The motor is then hooked up to a 5.2 kilowatt hour battery pack that's hidden inside the original gas tank area. According to the manufacturer, the battery weighs about 50 pounds and can provide up to 50 miles of riding. Through the integrated charger, the 80% state of charge can be restored in just two hours. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again and till next time!